All right, guys. Thank you. First donation of the night. Krillin. Salute, Krillin. He says, so why Africans and Caribs come to be oppressed? He says, so why do... I don't understand the question. Literally. Like, I don't understand. So why... Yeah, Krillin, what, elaborate on your question, man. Yeah, I mean, but how? Why? Yeah. I thought I said slave. I mean, we've been talking about slavery the whole time. I'm, I'm just confused. Elaborate a little bit on that question, Krillin. When they stop targeting high crime areas, the community comes back demanding more police. I believe that. I believe that. But, like I said, poverty causes crime, bro. It's not like those people want to not have any and then when I told you that when I, earlier I told you that poverty causes crime everywhere but the murder rate in the African American community is astronomically yeah, but you said high that's due to their brain or something okay then you tell me what it's due to it's due to conditioning it's due to conditioning how many generations now we've had you know a murder culture surrounding slave descended people within these particular confines then you also have to africans were doing Af black people were doing very well after slavery reconstruction era blacks were doing extremely well and um pre-segregation blacks were doing extremely well they had their um they had a black wall street in most m major cities you had yes you had poverty yes you had a criminal class yes you had but you had 75 percent of the homes with two parent households you had um a lot of blacks, um, you, had, you had a lot of black owned businesses in, in, in every category, and you had um, a lot of educated blacks. A you, lot? Blacks in pre-segregation black, you, 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 you sleeping yeah, on pre-segregation blacks, I mean pre-integration, pre-integration blacks. You, you, you sleeping on pre-integration, the numbers, I've seen the numbers, I've seen the numbers. The numbers on the pre-integration black is are astounding. Okay, the pre this these problems you're seeing today started in the '60s with the introduction of not only the welfare state but the introduction of integration, which broke down these black communities because the white man's ice is cold, as David Carroll said says. Um, you, we, we stop spending our money in our community so the black dollar now bounces doesn't bounce at all in the black community it bounces eight times in the year in the um asian community it bounces like six times in the white community the black dollar does not flip one time in the black community it wasn't that way during segregation not saying segregation was necessarily a good thing but it forced black people have to be made to do stuff Black people ain't just See, that's going. That's where you lose me, bro. It but, was like I was hearing you and I was listening to you with the all black yeah, people but you used can still to have some shit. But you can still you know listen to saying? me. But then when you start, you, can still, to, you know, yeah, but black you people have to be made. But, this and this you what still black can people have to, to be made to do is remember that they ever actually owned something, even for a short period in this country. And the way to get back to having a solid footing is to own something in this country, namely a business. From owning a business, you can get your philosophy together and you can start owning other things. There wasn't just one Black Wall Street. Right. There was a Black Wall Street. The Black Wall Street that every black person likes to talk about, ironically, is the one that was attacked and burned down. The blacks never talk about Harlem. The blacks never talk about Crystal City. Did you know that that was a Black Wall Street, Crystal City? This, you mean in Virginia? Yeah, yeah, in Virginia. Oh. That was a Black Wall Street. And where is it now? They never talk about Philadelphia. No, integration happened. I'm talking about pre-integration. Dude, here's the thing. Like, I hear, I hear your your version of of black housing, right? But you no, I'm not talking about housing. I'm talking about business integration. District. Black it, Wall Street it, wasn't about houses. Integration. Is black Wall discussion. Street was about a business business districts. Black business in, districts. Integration is yeah. the discussion of housing. Where people can and can't live. 
where they are instructed to but not live. That's what integration is or ain't. So you're saying because we couldn't live around white people, that's the condition, reason where the way we are? No, Wouldn't I'm, it saying, be? I'm saying because the economics... So you're saying I'm that... I'm saying because the economics did not spread into the African-American, into the slave descendant community, okay? Slave descendant people did not get a spread of economics uh, through the supposed reconstruction, which happened for such a short period, okay? And there have been no other attempts to make good. We had affirmative action. Reconstruction is before the time, time period, I'm telling you. That's Reconstruction is, is, is between the end of slavery and its 1880s, 1890s. Right. Very I'm talking about period. Black Wall Street. You have Black Wall Street in every major city coming into the 50s. And, and come on, keep going. So how can you say recon? What are you talking about reconstruction? We're past reconstruction. When you have black, when we're talking about Black Wall Street. Yeah. So Black Wall Street is an example of black people being able to do when they have full capacity. That's what you're saying. If we had full capacity, we would have Black Wall Street. That's what you're saying. I'm saying that. If we had full, I'm saying if we had full capacity, we wouldn't be talking about white people or holding us down. We would just be doing it. That's why I'm saying people need to start businesses. But what about? The, but somebody already showed us that there's 2.5 million black businesses in this country. Say so what, there's what? 2.5 million registered black businesses what in this country. What? Are, how many more businesses we need? All of them. All of y'all. How many black people is it in the country? So you we think all, all 40 million black people should own a business? Yes. It is not for the purpose of, of uh, we going to all make a million bucks flipping bubble gum. It's for you to wake your mind up. Wake your mind up. Wake your <laughs> mind up. Because you, all you're doing right Hear now, you, you go back to... Um, wake your mind you up, y'all. You go back to... Um, <laughs> Jiffy Lube and act like that's gonna, you know, change anything for you as a people. It's really not. Wake your mind up, y'all. Yeah, you gotta wake your mind up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Don Anderson. Very true. No excuse. It's 2020. Why are we still bitching about racism? We have Beyonce, Oprah, etc. Who said that now? I mean, what's the question? It says, it's 2020. Why are we still bitching about racism? Uh, maybe because there's racism. Have you not noticed that? No, you know, I haven't noticed. You haven't noticed that black boys are being murdered by the police more often. You hear... No, uh, you actually, hear, white you people... Hear, <laughs> you hear of a black person shot by a police officer more often than you hear about a white person shot by a police officer I and now you're gonna say it's the media no the numbers i oh. get the media puts the black guys on tv when they get shot by the police i understand that i'm talking about the numbers white more white people get shot by police there officers are more white people i'm not following no but there are less white people that come in contact with the law how you mean there are more white people. So no, statistically, there's or, less or average, white people more, that are arrested. There are less white people. No, but there no. There's no. Actually, there's more white people. Mm -hmm. There's 200 million white people in this country, mm -hmm. and there's 40 million blacks. Mm -hmm. There's still more black people come in contact with the with the with the with the, with the um, criminal justice system than 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 white people. The criminal. Well, yeah, yeah. That's because we are the, so how, we are the fuel for. So the why are more system. white people? That's getting what slavery is. Right, but right. why are more white people shot by cops then? More white people shot by cops. Yeah, more white people get shot by cops um, every year than black people. I don't have an answer for that. I never heard that before. You never heard? You didn't know I that? Never heard that more white people get shot by. Then cops. why are you going the around reason, saying what you're reason, saying if you didn't know the numbers? You, I said what. You out here talking about um, black people getting shot, always shot by the cops. If you don't know the I numbers, said why we would are you say? shown? I asked you, when was the last time you saw white people unarmed getting shot by the cops? You don't be seeing that. No, That's we do stories on my channel about that frequently. 
I come on, man. Your channel, no disrespect, but I'm talking about the news, bruh. Cause they don't. They only. They, they, it won't get a reaction. They know they're only gonna. They know they. They know they. They know that they. That. And then the answer. If that's the case, then the only answer to your question is there are more of them. So they're gonna get shot more often. There are more. No, but it wouldn't matter how many white people there what were. What you talking about? The question is how many come in contact with police. The shooter. The shooter is the police. Right. More black people come in contact with police than whites. Yet, more whites get shot by cops. It's a strange statistic. Somebody look at that statistic. Yeah, can you look it up? up. Look, look it up for me. See, 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 see. Um, sh police shootings by race. Look it up, so we can get get this. Um. Yeah, and and, and whites shoot. Well, I don't know. I, we'll we'll find out that. Okay. This is 2019, yeah, that's a good one. Nine. 942 people got shot and killed Nine by police. 349 were white and 221 were black. Now, now, based on what you was trying to say, that more white people got killed, right? You just said this. 400 million whites? No, I said it's 200 million whites. And there's how many blacks? 40 million blacks. Now look at the, how close the numbers are. But more come blacks on come look in contact with... how close the numbers are. No, listen. More blacks come into contact with white, with police. Right. And more whites get killed. Right. But look how close the numbers are. It's... A hundred people. No, it's 128. When there's four, when there's 20 million of them and four, when there's 200 million of them and 40 million of us? No. We're only going by the people who come in contact come on, with man. police. Yeah. We can't just, I, you can't judge a baby or a little old lady. What you talking about? Now you're throwing it in it, the No, it's right. no point in, no. To, to just use raw population in this stamp in this instant doesn't give you an accurate perception of what's going on. You have to use the people who come in contact with the criminal justice system, because okay, people who are, don't come in contact with police are not going to get shot by police. They don't have a chance to get shot by police. Okay, I generally get okay. Where you, come from. <laughs> you generally. I generally get where you come I mean, it's, from, but that's the, not <laughs> removing the fact that the number is only a hundred people difference. So the, you don't understand. More of these people get. All right, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Here's the answer. That's your answer. More white people have guns, bro. I, I scrolled over one spot. It went from race, white people more get killed. Why? They got guns. So I'm still kind of missing what, where you was going. I will say I will give you that they're more registered firearm, but exactly. but uh, the, the the criminal element of the black community has guns. I'm just not following where the what, part where of the black community that comes in contact with, with the police, police has guns. Those people have guns. I I can't say that it is the criminal element of the blacks that come into contact with police. I can't say it's the criminal element of whites that come into contact with police. Why would people, that. why would, so police are just fucking with random people? They pull over every motherfucking body, yes. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, pullovers, but what about um, That's what people dying calls? at. What about, nah, these people aren't dying. All the this. shit you see on TV, motherfuckers dying is, sir, is pullovers. You got pulled over and they shoot you. Nah, the people are the getting killed at their homes. People are getting the killed. The vast at majority that you're seeing on TV. I'm not talking about the little internet clips we're seeing. I'm talking about the national news stories. But we're not talking about TV. We're talking about the numbers. Media. No, I'm not talking about media. I'm talking about what's media. actually happening. The discussion was media. Well, what actually is happening? People are getting... You... you you had 221 black people that were killed. Then this ain't unarmed. Mm. Don't confuse this with unarmed blacks. Okay. All right. Okay. No, I'm just saying because that's the thing they say. No, because remember they say they say he was unarmed. These are just the total numbers. Mm. Sorry, I got some. But 
Yeah, I'm listening. These are the total numbers, but what? Yeah. So the Sorry. what what Black Lives Matter is talking about is the um. What Black Lives Matter is talking about is the um, unarmed ones. What and 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 I don't and the, the, what Dylan is talking. What difference does that make? That ninety-four percent of blacks. We already said poverty causes crime. I'm not feeling what we're talking about. So, do you think a black man walking down the street minding his own business gets shot for being black? Depending on where he is, and you act like lynchings were unusual in this country. Touche. The fuck. Well, did, uh, everybody got lynched. Did you know white people got lynched? Depending on who they were with. No, white people got lynched. It was a form of capital punishment in the, in, in the South. What's your point? What I'm saying is now, now, not lynching, not during the lynching period, now can a black man get shot in, in the back just for being black? Yeah, being so. depending on, we had a guy get stabbed in College Park and they let the guy off saying it wasn't racially motivated, which was a big thing of contention. But he yes, was, we had a guy not more than a year ago get stabbed in College Park for being black. How do you know you it was say, because he was black? No, I'm asking That's you. what all the witnesses said. That's what all the witnesses said. So so the cops came and said, you're, we're here because you're black. The cops didn't, what? Who, who, who's a white that? man stabbed a black man in College Park. Oh, a white man stabbed a black man in College Park, okay. Yes. Not more than a year. Not a cop, a white man. A white man. Stabbed, the, the question was, can you walk down the street and get shot for being black? Stabbed. No, by a cop. That wasn't the question. So, uh, so, no, I mean, is that probable? Is it like, well, then, if you want to say a white man, is it likely that you can walk down the street and get shot for being black? Is it likely? Depending on where you are, it's as likely as anything. So, College Park, where the University of Maryland is. Man got stabbed, so I don't know what likely and li unlikely is. I ain't gonna disrespect that man's life and say it's unlikely it'll ever happen again. Shit. Why is that unlikely? So the man got stabbed. Yes. There were a bunch of black people around and the white guy stabbed him. I don't know him. that there were black people around him. The guy that got killed was black. And the only reason you can see that that happened was because he was black. That's what the witnesses said. So what did the guy say? I'm killing you because I'm black? You're black? I don't know what he said. Black <laughs> motherfucker. We probably said what he was killing the motherfucker, but he killed them. What do you mean? But that doesn't mean he killed him because he was black. That's what the witnesses said. Okay. All right. God, I said that five times. Bro. Deshaun says, 